Hey there and welcome to Facial Features Section 2. We're going to be retouching eyes. Now we went ahead and included some JPEGs for you to work on. Let's go ahead and hit Control or Command O to open those up here in Photoshop. And you're going to go to your Facial Features, O2 Eyes, Images, and we have some JPEGs here. Let's Command click on those and hit Open. It's going to pop them into Photoshop. Now these are JPEGs, they are 8-bit. If you prefer to work on a 16-bit TIFF, all you have to do is export those out of Lightroom because we provided all these images in Camera Raw. So again, if you wanna work on TIFFs, just click on an image, <laughs> right click on it, go to export, and then choose your TIFF in 16-bit, and then you can just work on those images. JPEGs just make it, they're a lot lower file size, so for downloading it works a lot better. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. So we've got four images today, and what we're gonna be working on is we're gonna show you how to brighten eyes, how to change the color of the eyes, how to enhance the color, how to add a little bit of details. I'm gonna show you how to sharpen eyes as well as how to clean up the iris or any like other details that we have around the eyes. So how we're gonna do it is basically we're gonna start with our first image, which is here on the top left. We're gonna go all the way through doing everything we wanna do to uh, work on her eyes, and then we're gonna move to the next image and go all the way through that one. All right, great. Well, let's go ahead and start with this one. So Flurn Retouch 26.jpg. I'm gonna hit F for full screen, and we're gonna zoom in. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of sketch up on this image just to get an idea of what we're actually gonna be doing with the eyes. Now. When it comes to actually working with eyes, generally we don't want to affect the area too close to the pupil or the white part of the eye. Generally we're looking to affect this area of the eye. There we go. All right, and it's going to be reflective of the light that's shining in the eye. So for instance, if a light is shining in this direction, which we can see a beauty dish right here, then it's actually gonna be brighter over here you can see it without this on you can see how this is brighter than this and basically that's the way that light enters the eye it enters in bounces around and then bounces around on that side so if a light enters in one side make the other side a little bit brighter all right now when coloring and lightening the eye generally i stay away from you know getting too close like i won't go all the way to the edge here inside or the outside just looks a little bit better and gives a little bit more realistic curvature. All right, so that's the area that gets most affected when you're retouching eyes. Now, when it comes to sharpening, that's an area that, like, this whole area is gonna get sharpened, as well as the eyelashes on the top and on the bottom. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we're going to do to brighten up our eyes, we're gonna grab an adjustment layer, and I'm gonna go to Curves. All right, so we don't have to get incredibly complex here. Basically how curves work, you can make your darks a little bit darker, okay? You can make your lights a little bit lighter, and you can work on your midtones. All right, generally with eyes, I like to grab the slider more towards the right side and make the lights a little bit lighter. All right, let's, let's see how that looks. I'm gonna hit Command or Control I on that, and then with my paintbrush, I'm just gonna start painting like this and make like little swirls and stuff like that. I don't have to make anything that looks like too, you know, too smooth or whatever. Basically just like painting in some, some detail. That's what my layer mask looks like, by the way. Alt or Option, click on my layer mask. That's just a bunch of squiggly lines. You're like, are you sure you're gonna do that? Um, <laughs> trust me, it'll look just fine. All right, so yep, just a few squiggly lines. That's all we need there. Cool, paint some black in there too. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, blur that. So let's go to Filter, we're gonna go to Blur, and down to Gaussian Blur. All right, and we'll just bump the radius up. There we go, until it basically gets rid of each individual brush stroke. So now my layer mask looks like that, okay? And we can see it looks pretty natural on the eyes, which is perfect. Okay, now it's up to you to see how light you'd like to actually make your eyes. Because you have your layer mask in place, you can bring this point up even brighter, and that's gonna make your eyes super, super bright. Or you could go darker, but generally it looks, it looks better when it's a little bit brighter. All right, great, that looks really good. That looks really good. Now, it does look a little bit too bright here on the left side, so I'm just gonna paint with black with my paintbrush, and there we go. 
kind of just put a little bit less light there. All right, cool. Well, that's brightening eyes, guys. You can see it's really not too difficult. Um, the next step we're going to do is coloring eyes, and it's actually really similar. So let's grab an adjustment layer. We're gonna go to color balance, and color balance is my suggestion for coloring eyes. It'll keep things looking pretty realistic. All right, let's crank the blue all the way up. Um, I know it's not looking realistic now, but I'm gonna hit Control or Command I on my layer mask, which is gonna invert the layer mask. Okay, and now what I'm doing is just kind of painting in some little streaks and things like that on my layer mask, painting with white on my layer mask. Remember, white makes things visible, black makes things invisible. All right, there we go. Very cool. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier with the curves. We're gonna give it a little bit of beautiful. So <laughs> we're gonna give it a little bit of a blur. I don't know why I said beautiful. Maybe because it just is beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go to Gaussian blur and that looks pretty good there. Okay, now it's up to us to actually decide what we want the color to look like. The reason I popped so much green in there is so I could see what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and hit this reset button. There we go. And now we can see about putting some yellow or some blue into the eyes. Some yellow looks pretty good. Maybe some red, maybe some cyan. You really can go pretty wild here, depending on what you actually want out of your image. All right. I suggest not going too far from the local color, the eyes, what the, whatever they started with. Maybe bring the vibrance up a little bit. There we go, some yellow and some red. All right, that looks really good. Now, if you wanna completely change the color of your eyes, you can do something like a hue saturation adjustment layer. With a hue saturation adjustment layer, basically you just take your hue and drag this to the left or the right. And then in that case, we're gonna hit Control or Command I on that layer mask, make a little bit larger brush, and then go ahead and include the entire iris with, within this layer mask there. All right. There we go, and you can get all kinds of weird effects now. Basically, you just crank your hue to the left or the right, and you know, in that case, those eyes don't look real at all, so we would lower down the saturation a little bit there. All right, blue, lower down the saturation just a little bit, and maybe increase the lightness. Cool, so that looks pretty good too. So you can see there's a lot of different options here that you can do with eyes. I think that going, um, you know, if your eyes start off with this color to begin with, pump it a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. I find that if you're going from brown and try to make them look blue, like, yeah, it kind of works, but a lot of the time it's, uh, <laughs> it's a good idea to keep them relatively close to what they were originally. All right, great. So now we know how to brighten eyes, okay? We know how to enhance some of the color and add a little bit of detail. All right, and we know how to completely change the color if that's what we want to do. Very cool. I'm just going to leave that off for now. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sharpen up our eyes a little bit. Now I'm going to create a new layer. We're going to go over here to our sharpen tool. We have a blur tool, a sharpen tool, and a smudge tool nested together. All right, let's go to our sharpen tool. When you're on your sharpen tool, just make sure you hit this sample all layers. And it's gonna make sure that you are able to do this on a new layer. All right, and our strength, we're gonna have about 50%. So we'll just choose a large brush there, and I'm gonna paint basically right over top of the center of the eye and over top of the eyelashes as well. All right, so let's turn that off and on. So this is a way to get like minor sharpening on the image. There we go, and that's usually probably all you need, but if you wanna add a little bit more, you can do that as well. And here's how we do that. We're gonna create a new layer and we're going to make it a stamp visible layer. So let's create a new layer here. And now our stamp visible layer, we're gonna hit Shift Option Command E as an elephant. And that's gonna make a stamp visible layer, which is basically just a copy of everything you can see. Basically, you can see it's just, you know, it's like every all of this stuck on a new layer. Okay. Now with this layer, we're actually gonna use this layer to sharpen the eyes. So I'm gonna change our blending mode from normal. We're gonna go down to overlay. You know what, let's choose linear light. Eh, let's choose overlay for now. You can actually use any of these. I'll show you in just a second. 
So overlay looks good. Next, we're gonna go to filter, other, and down here to high pass. Okay, now basically it's our job to decide how much sharpening we'd like to add to the eyes. Um, general rule of thumb is like, do as much as you possibly can uh, while still making things look good. So there we go, let's hit okay there. And we can see this is even more sharpening on the entire image. And you can just use a layer mask to make it just over the eyes. All right, now let's see if we change this to something like soft light, hard light, vivid light. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Linear light, all of these are going to work with sharpening your images. So between linear light and overlay, overlay is just a little bit more subtle. So we're gonna use this one. All right, let's go ahead and make a black layer mask. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask. There we go. And then I'm gonna paint white right over top of my eye. Not so worried about the back one because it's not even in focus. So it doesn't, <laughs> we don't need to sharpen an eye that's not even in focus. All right, there we go. We have some color changes there. Let's go ahead and group those and we'll see the before and the after with just the eyes. <laughs> cool, that looks really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next image. Each image is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so this image you can see the eyes are a little bit darker. We don't see as much detail and then some other things are going to be required to kind of fix this up. So we're gonna start it off in the same way. We'll make a curves adjustment layer, okay? With my brush tool, choose a nice small brush and let's just go ahead and crank this up. I'm gonna hit Control or Command I on that. And now with my brush tool, we're just gonna paint like this kind of stuff. Again, I usually just try to avoid painting like big, you know, blotches of like, you know, big fuzzy, like generally I don't wanna just do that. It does, doesn't look as real. This looks, this looks good. Well, not yet, but it will in a second. Um, and it looks more random. It looks more like real, basically. All right, so let's add a blur to it. There we go. And then random, this looks, looks nice and good. All right, then we want to zoom out to make sure we're actually lightening the eyes an appropriate amount. Sometimes it's easy to go overboard. So you want to make sure you can see the image as a whole. There we go. Like that, it looks cool, but it, they're too bright. You can see how they're, they're brighter than like anything else. All right. So you want to make sure that it's like believable bright. All right. And I'm going to paint black over here on the left. Just a little bit. There we go. Looking good. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some detail into these eyes. Why not? Um, with my brush tool, again, I'm just going to paint, you know what? I'll just paint red. It doesn't really matter what color I paint. I can always change it later. I'm just gonna add like little spots and stuff like that. Cause I, I can't see a ton of detail in the eye. Um, I just would like to see a little bit more. So I'm basically like adding my own detail here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's change our layer blend mode to something like color dodge, which is gonna give us a really interesting look. Okay, color dodge looks good. Let's go ahead and give this a blur so it kind of blends in a little bit better. Now in this case, we're only looking to blur it so it doesn't look like brush strokes anymore. Like that's, that's as far as I wanna blur it. You know, I don't wanna go crazy. There we go, that looks good. Now keep in mind we painted with red originally. Um, I can always change that. Just make sure you're on the same layer that you painted red and hit Control or Command U, which is hue saturation. You also can go to image, adjustments, and down here to hue saturation, which by the way, you can see the keyboard shortcut for, Control or Command U. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my hue and bump it to the left or to the right. That looks kind of cool. You can take your saturation and bring it down or bring it up as well. And I can work on my lightness too. All right, there we go. So that looks pretty good. And if it's too much of an effect, just lower your opacity a little bit. All right, but there we go. We've added some lightness and some detail into the eyes. Let's go ahead and zoom out again to make sure it still looks realistic. If it's too much, just go in here and lower the curves or lower your opacity or 
whatever have you. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in. Now, the next thing we're gonna take care of, let's grab a new layer. Some of these like little veins and things like that here in the eyes, that's like totally normal. People have veins in their eyes. Oftentimes you wanna retouch those out. So we'll create a new layer. And next we're going to use our, there we go, spot healing brush tool. Now the spot healing brush tool is really, really great for this sort of thing. You just wanna make sure you get a couple options checked. At the top, you wanna make sure your mode is normal. You wanna make sure your type is content aware. That's gonna do a real good job filling in the areas and keeping an idea of what's in the surrounding areas. And then we wanna make sure to hit sample all layers and that's gonna allow us to do something on a new layer. If you don't have sample all layers checked, then you have to do this on your background layer, which you don't want. Okay, so now with all those checked, basically my goal is just to paint right over all these like little veins or the areas that I don't want to be in the eye. So something like that works really, really well. Even get rid of things like this and oftentimes even hairs like that. So this tool is really, really great. Now when it comes to right below the eyes, there we go. We're gonna basically use the same tool to get rid of any like makeup smudges or you know things that we just don't wanna see. All right. Cool, let's go ahead and work on this other eye too. Keyboard shortcut for this tool is J, by the way. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. Cool. So we just took care of a few of those little things in the eye. All right. Now the next thing we're going to work on with these eyes is enhancing our catch light. The catch light is basically this light where we can see a little bit of a reflection from the... Um, from the strobes that we use to take the pictures. So to enhance those, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint with white with our regular paintbrush, right over top of this, there we go, and right over top of that one. Over top of this, and over top of that. Done, not really. Okay, what we're gonna do now is basically, I need this layer to only be visible where the underlying layer is lighter. In this case, it's lighter in the catch lights, so we can use a tool called blend if to make this visible only visible to make this layer only visible where the catch lights are. Okay, let's just do it. That'll help explain. So we're going to double click here on layer 4, which brings up our layer style. Now here in the layer style, you're going to see under blending options, here at the bottom, you'll see blend if, we'll see gray is what you want to choose here. Gray, red, blue, green, and blue. Honestly, in my experience, they don't wind up giving you much different results. I always stick with gray. Okay, now with the underlying layer, we want to go ahead and make this layer not visible where the underlying layer is darker. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click from left to right. It's important to hold Alt or Option. If you don't, these actually wind up moving together. If you hold Alt or Option and click apart, they wind up giving you more of a uh, feathering effect, which is what you want. Okay, and now as I move these from the left to the right, you're gonna see that this layer is becoming invisible where the underlying layer is darker and only visible where it's lighter, which is exactly what we want. So again, let's go back to the left. We'll show you guys what that looks like. Alter option, click and drag this to about there and then come in with the dark side as well. All right. And now we see our layer is just visible where the underlying layer is lighter. And in this case, that's the catch lights. So we'll hit okay there. All right, let's just turn this off and on. We can see what that did. So again, it's just me with a paintbrush, basically like painting white over there and making our catch lights brighter. Now you can always adjust your opacity here. They probably didn't need to be that bright, but it is nice to have them a little bit brighter. All right, and then sometimes if I'm feeling extra fancy, I'll go in here with a brush. We're gonna choose a very, very small brush here. All right, go ahead and bring our size nice and far down. There we go. And then again, we're gonna be painting white, okay? And basically, I just wanna enhance this little white area on the bottom area between where the eye and the eyelid touch. By enhancing these little like white areas, 
just kind of makes the eyes look a little bit more like wet and like alive and shiny. So basically I've just got a really small brush and I'm just painting white right here. You can see it's already like there to begin with. We're just kind of painting in more. Painting it in more. Cool. The one on the right looks like it needs to fade away a little more naturally. All right, so let's see the before and the after with that. Again, just a little detail there, but it makes the eyes look a little bit more like wet and alive. And that's exactly what we want. All right, now let's go through our sharpening. So we'll create a new layer stamp visible shift option command e to do that okay we're going to change our layer blend mode to overlay and then we're going to run a high pass filter on here so that's with nothing all right there we go now let's put a black layer mask on here alt or option and click on our layer mask and we're going to zoom in and paint with our brush tool we're going to paint white over the eyelashes here Definitely over the center of the eye. Make sure to get the eyebrow there. All the stuff that's in focus right around the eye. And a little goop section in the middle. <laughs> Whatever this is called, you, you want to make sure to get that as well. The goop section, that's probably what it's called. All right, there we go. And here's the sharpening of the eye. Now, if you ever want more sharpening, you can just hit Control or Command J to duplicate that layer. And now we've got two layers of sharpening, which in this case, I think, oh, wrong button. In this case, I think actually works for us, um, except on the eyebrow. That's too sharp up there. Too sharp, eyebrow, too sharp. All right, that looks great. Let's go ahead and shift click all those layers and show you the before and the after with those eyes. Wow, that really is big difference. Very nice. All right, let's move to our next image here. We're gonna zoom in. Basically, we're doing the same thing. I just wanted to give you guys a bunch of examples. So you have a bunch of examples. <laughs> wow, you really thought that one through, didn't you, Aaron? Um, we're going to bring this brighter. I'm going to hit Controller Command I on this layer, zoom in, and then I'm going to use my brush tool. All right, paint white on the layer mask, something like that. Remember, we're going to blur this so it really doesn't have to be that awesome. <laughs> and I'm sticking on the opposite side as the catch light, just like what we talked about earlier. All right, we're going to give it a little bit of a blur. A little bit more of a blur. OK, beautiful. So there we have our eyes. Yeah, I think it could use some more lightness right over there. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a blur again. OK, very cool. Now let's do, you know what, this time we'll do another curves adjustment layer. Why not? We'll go really bright with this one. Hit Controller Command I, and this will add more details into the eye. Just like that. It helps a lot if you make the sound effects. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to make sound effects. All right, now let's give this a blur. Not as much though. You can use your up and down arrows here, by the way. All right. Let's see about adding some color. So we'll add some red into the eyes and maybe some green as well. A little more red. All right. Beautiful. So a little bit more color into the size. Just kind of make size, you know, a little bit more interesting. All right. Really cool. So. Let's go ahead and 
well, they look pretty dang good already, to be honest. Let's go, let's move on to sharpening, why not? All right, I'll show you one more method for sharpening. We're gonna create a new layer, shift option command E for a stamp visible, and we're gonna go to filter, sharpen, and we're gonna go to unsharp mask. All right, now you choose your radius and your amount of sharpening, and your threshold basically determines where things get sharp. So I generally leave my threshold at zero. So bringing up our amount and our radius, we want to zoom out to get an idea of how this looks like as a whole, right? It doesn't matter how much how it looks really close up if it doesn't look good far away. All right. There we go. Looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and hit OK there. OK, now as far as the sharpen tool versus the unsharp mask versus the um, high pass filter layer. Um, the end of the day, they're all just sharpening guys. Um, they all pretty much do the same thing. It's just preferred method. Whatever you prefer, uh, go with that. Whatever's easiest. All right, let's put a layer mask and then invert that layer mask. All right, and then we're gonna just paint white right here on our lashes in this little area inside there too. Maybe a little bit on the brow. Beautiful. And if it's a little too much, just lower the opacity. No big deal. All right, great. Let's look at the before and the after with these eyes. There's a the before and there's the after. They just have a little bit more life to them, which is what we want. All right. And our last image here, we're going to be working with Alex. And Alex looks right, he's just got a lot of um, dark area in his eyes. So when eyes are really dark like this, we want to use a different tool. I'm going to hit Controller Command J on my background layer to duplicate it. Next, we're going to go to Image, over here to Adjustments, and over to Shadows slash Highlights. OK, we want Show More Options. All right, now let's go ahead and move all this stuff to zero. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're not gonna mess around with highlights at all. We're just gonna go with shadows. So shadows, we wanna bring up the brightness of this a little bit. You can work on your tone, which we're gonna leave that down for now, and your radius. Now again, I don't really mind what the rest of the image looks like. Um, really, all I'm looking at is the eyes. All right. And this is one of those things where it's like gonna be different for pretty much every image you work with. So um, it's just gonna take playing with these sliders. But you should be able to do a really nice job getting more detail back in your eyes if you have uh, very dark eyes in your image. Now, we also wanna make sure we do color as well because when we add, when things are dark, they don't tend to have a lot of color in them. So when we lighten things up, we need to add some more color as well. So our adjustments, we're gonna bring our color up as well. So we can see there's the before and the after. It actually brings out the real detail that's in the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask. And then here on my layer mask, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna paint white on my layer mask, revealing The eye. All right, just don't cover up the center, which is the pupil. All right, there we go. And when you have eyes that that are so dark, um, generally I won't I won't try to make them like super bright. It's just not a great idea. They're not going to look real. Um, Most of the time, they're not going to look real anyway. Bringing them up a little bit lighter is generally what you want to do. All right. Now let's do the add more detail step because there's just not a ton of details here. Okay. Well, let's go to a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to bring this nice and bright here. Hit Controller Command I on that. And then we're going to grab our brush tool and we're going to paint really small. 
There we go. Just kind of add some more detail here. Again, this is going to get a blur, so I'm not too concerned about making it perfect or anything. Okay. That looks good. Now maybe let's go ahead and add some red. And some green. Red and green combined to make like brown, right? Um, and so skin, skin tends to look pretty good uh, and a good mix between red and green. All right. Now let's go ahead and give this a blur. All right, looking pretty good. And we'll just fade this back in. Cool. So there's the before and the after with that. So you can see eyes that are really dark still have a lot of potential to lighten up. And I really wouldn't go much lighter than that because it's just going to start to look like Photoshoppy and weird. Like, hey, he's got really light, dark eyes. Uh, okay. Anyway, don't want that. All right, and the last step, always, always, always with eyes. Sorry, not last step yet. We're gonna create a new layer in here and I'm gonna use my spot healing brush tool, which is uh, keyboard shortcut is J. We do need to clean up these areas here in the eye as well. Okay. All right, and you can see more of this white little line that happens here. See, it happens in like all the photos. You may have never even noticed it, but now you will, maybe. So you can just paint more if you want to do that. Or hit delete, you can do that too, whichever you want. All right, let's make a stamp visible. We're gonna go to filter, we're gonna go to Sharpen and down to Unsharp Mask. All right. Oh, this is Smart Sharpen. We actually want to go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Cool. Now our radius, let's go ahead and pull that down a little bit. And the amount, we'll pull that down as well. All right. That looks pretty good. It's nice and subtle. Let's put a black layer mask on that, and I'm gonna paint white here on this layer mask. In this case, it's kind of subtle, but I, I really like the subtlety of it. Let's just zoom in so we can see. There's the before and the after with that. All right, great. Let's group all those and look at the before and the after. So we can see the eyes really have come to life. Beautiful. All right, guys, and there we have it. That's four different photos. Let's just subtract these out. All right, and just like with anything else, you probably wanna like get it to where you think it's good, and take a little bit of break, and then come back and look at it again to make sure you still like it. Um, yeah, and in this case, I do like all the eyes. I think we did a really great job on them. So congratulations, everyone. Pat yourselves on the back. All right, that is the end of this section. We'll see you in the next section where we're gonna be working with hair.